sponsored by Executive Homes. And it is a beautiful fall-like afternoon. We're taking a live look on our Brookside camera right outside of our KGRH studios. That flag really whooping in the wind out there with those breezy northerly winds after the passing of a cold front. This is all part of our day's Claremore RV weather camera network. High pressure quickly moving on and providing us with all the sunshine for this afternoon. It's going to stick around for the rest of the day today and going throughout the majority of the week ahead. Going to be dealing with sunny and dry temperatures, um, sunny and dry weather with temperatures around average for today, but we will experience those slowly start to creep up as we head into the middle of our week. Right now we're sitting at 71, Bartlesville at 70, Coffeeville still in those upper 60s. Same goes for Cryer Creek and Tahlequah at 68 degrees. Now look at these wind gusts. We're seeing close to 30 mile per hour gusts here in Tulsa. We saw those closer to 40 miles per hour during the overnight hours and into early this morning. Prior Creek seeing close to 20 mile per hour wind gusts at the moment. Muskogee 26. Now check out these temperatures for tomorrow. We are going to see those high temperatures back into those low 80s, but still close to around average. And then we really warm up on Wednesday afternoon. That's going to be that prefrontal warming Check out Thursday and Friday. We're tracking a rather strong cold front making its way through. We're going to see high temperatures dip into the 60s and then things mild out for us as we head into this upcoming weekend. So going into our future track radar here, not really looking at anything for the rest of the day today and even for our Tuesday afternoon and evening conditions remain absolutely beautiful. It's not until we head into our Wednesday night where we're tracking our next shifting gear. We're going to be seeing this cold front approach us as we head into late Wednesday and going into our Thursday. So we'll still have plenty of time on Wednesday to heat up with those temperatures, like I said, in the upper 80s. So rain chances, not really looking at anything. Same story goes for uh, the week ahead. Dry, sunny, that front that will be passing will be passing dry. Not looking at any rainfall um, associated with that, which sadly we need the rainfall. Look at our drought monitor. We're seeing those abnormally dry conditions creeping their way into green country, Tulsa, Bartlesville, even into northwestern Arkansas, dealing with even extreme drought conditions right now. So we really do need that rainfall, but not looking like we're going to be getting it uh, for this upcoming week. And the extended, there could be some slight rain chances as we head into next week. But this weekend, if you have any weekend plans, look at this sunny and 75 on Sunday, Saturday as well. Temperatures are going to be in the 70s with lots of sunshine. Those breezy winds will be persisting for this upcoming weekend as well out of the south before a cool down is expected as we head into to early next week. Now models are still kind of juggling with the temperatures, but we are expecting that colder air mass to head in as we go into uh, Monday and Tuesday. But right now what we're looking at are the 60s for our Thursday and Friday with overnight lows falling to near 40 degrees for us here in the metro. Outlying areas could see temperatures fall into the 30s.